During this video, we will describe the purpose and types of vehicle inspections carried out before, during, and after a military transportation detail. These inspections are called vehicle parades. This video will cover conduct of the first parade in detail. As a driver, your major responsibility is to ensure that the vehicle is in a safe and operable condition at all times. In order to ensure its readiness for use, you must conduct physical inspections of the vehicle. There are three types of inspections or vehicle parades. These are first, halt, and the last parade. The parades require less than 15 minutes to complete and should be done from a checklist. The first parade is a detailed inspection conducted prior to operation. The halt parade is conducted whenever the vehicle is shut down for any period in excess of 20 minutes. The last parade is conducted at the end of the detail or work day. It is in the best interest of the driver to ensure that he conducts all vehicle parades as he will be held accountable for damage or malfunctions not properly reported or documented. If for any reason while conducting the parade the driver finds a fault that affects the safe operation of the vehicle, he must rectify it before continuing the detail and record it. This initial inspection is a thorough check for damage or security of the body, superstructure, dents, etc. should be reported prior to departure as the driver can be held responsible for damage or unreported accidents. See the daily maintenance parades sheet enclosed. Check tire rims and valve stems for wear or leaks. mirror adjustment, and windshield for cracks. Lights and reflectors for damage and operation. The undercarriage and drivetrain for overall cleanliness. In the engine compartment, check all fluid levels. Look for leaks, tightness, corrosion, and security of all components. Check belts and hoses for cracks. Ignition and distributor cables, electrical cables and wiring. Look for excessive oil or grease and check engine bolts for tightness. In the driver's compartment, examine for cleanliness. Check the glove compartment for documents, including accident report forms and recovery instructions. Security of seat and seat positions. Check seat belt operation. Check windows for cracks and adjust interior and exterior mirrors. With the ignition on, all gauges should move to normal operating position. Start the engine. Engage the manual transmission where applicable. 
The clutch should have no more than one inch play when engaged. Engage the service lights. The instrument panel should light up. Check for excessive free play in steering wheel and the directional indicator lights. Check the service lights, high and low beam indicators. From the outside, ensure the directional signals, hazard indicators, the brakes and backup lights are all serviceable. With the parking brake on and transmission in first gear or drive, the vehicle should not move. Check the seatbelt buzzer if applicable. Inspect wiper blades and operation. Listen for the washer motor and check fluid level. Sound the horn. Prior to moving off, check all items on the equipment issue scale. It should include a fire extinguisher inspected within the last six months. The first aid kit should be full and vehicle tools all present. Safety triangles, tow cable, and slave cable and tool kit. Jack, jack block and wheel shock. This completes your first parade. Remember to always use a checklist and report any fault that is noticed on the DND 610 work ticket in the vehicle defects column or on your checklist. Each member should be familiar with his or her unit's parade checklists, which are always available at your transport section. These guides may vary from unit to unit, but will always include the critical points to be checked. Happy motoring. video, we will describe the conduct of the halt and last parades carried out during and at the completion of every transportation detail. As a driver, it is your responsibility to ensure that your vehicle is in a safe and operable condition, not only at the commencement of the detail, but during and after its completion. The halt parade is conducted whenever the vehicle is shut down for a period in excess of 20 minutes. Keep in mind that while conducting this parade, if the driver finds a fault that may affect the safe operation of the vehicle, he must rectify it before continuing and record it on the work ticket. The following inspection must be carried out during halts. A visual inspection of the exterior to include examination of tires, rims, and valve stems. Check the body, cab, and superstructure for irregularities or damage. Ensure that the mirrors and windows are clean.
examine the wipers and blades. Under the vehicle, check suspension and exhaust system for loose or damaged components. The drivetrain for excessive free play. And all exterior lights and reflectors for serviceability. Inspect all major engine components. Look for damage to belts and hoses or frayed electrical cables and ignition wire security. Check all fluid levels and top up if necessary. In the driver's compartment, always check the brakes by pumping the pedal. Watch for free play. Recheck all indicator and interior lights. Ensure gauges are functioning properly and sound the horn. Check the hazard indicators and service lights front and rear for operation and remember to record any faults discovered during your inspection. The last parade is conducted to ensure that the vehicle is serviceable and ready for operation the next day. It is important and as complete as the first parade. Remember, a new driver may be detailed and assigned to this vehicle the next day, so ensure that you leave it in top condition and full of fuel. After completion of the cleanup, the inspection begins. Check rims, tire pressure, and valve centers. Ensure that the superstructure is secure. Check door hinges for squeaks and oil where necessary. Inspect all service lights and reflectors for damage and operation. Windows and mirrors should be cleaned and wipers checked, leaving the washer container full. Look under the vehicle for damage and security of the drivetrain and suspension. In the engine compartment, take a good look around. All major components should be secure. Belts and hoses must be tight and not worn. Electrical cables tight and in place. The wiring should all be in place and all fluid levels checked and topped up. Moving into the driver's compartment, you check all indicator lights, hazard indicator, and check the operation of all gauges. Listen for the wiper and washer motors and horn for operation. Ensure that the parking and main brakes function properly and steering free play is correct. All vehicle EIS safety equipment and tools must be present and operational. Check the first aid box to ensure it is full of bandages, etc. Since the last parade may take place after dark, the driver must ensure a flashlight is available. And as with any of the parades, when a fault is detected or even suspected, it must be recorded and reported if the driver cannot rectify it himself. This concludes the halt and last parades. Keep in mind that when you pick up a vehicle from your transportation section,
you want it in tip-top running order for your detail. Leave it that way for the next driver. Remember, a good fleet is a well-maintained fleet. Thank you.